space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life, a new civilization, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Hi and welcome back. Um, just a very quick one this week or this time. Just wanted to show where, where I'm up to with this light package. So here we have the Buzzard collectors, the four LEDs that'll be going around plus a motor eventually. Um, we have the nav lights and the collision light. It's not a strobe that I was saying last time, it's a collision light. Um, we have a blue LED in to simulate warp road on the nacelles and then another set of nav lights and collision lights for the nacelles because they weren't shown on screen but they were part of the original concept allegedly so they're going to be on a button so on or off and um, so I'll get this onto the power so we can see the buzzard lights start going round and nav lights start going round I've got to correct this programming because these nav lights come on straight away and don't go off until I press the button so if I press the button our warp mode comes on our nav lights and collision lights are on with it. Press again. And that goes off. I may just correct this by having the warp on as well when, I when it's first switched on. So it's in concept mode and then you turn it off to go to just Canon. Um, give me a minute to get this camera down. And I will show you what this buzzard collector looks like. So here we can see how the lights will look in the buzzard collector. Um, this isn't the actual part, I've just got a disc of plastic and just rolled it in place. I just wanted to see how it looked. Um, so there you go around, multicoloured. If I hold, just a bit of thin plastic over can see how it diffuses and it's re getting really close to the effect that you see in the original series I'm really that there's actually a lot more purple showing in real life and blue than what it's showing on my camera for some reason but I'm really happy with how that's coming along right um about the only thing I need to do is work out how not to have these on straight away or to have it where it starts in warp mode and then I have to turn it off that might be more sensible um, main lights to go on um, which will include all the saucer lights the hull lights the lights on the sensors and the lights at the back of the shuttle bay there's no point having umpteen circuits for that because they're all just on and um, I may do the impulse deck just ramp up from off to on so it fades up and looks a bit cooler and um, if you look at this though I'm already running out of um, pins I can use for or parts for this and there's a lot more to go on so if I wanted to add, if I want to add sounds, I'd need a second Arduino, so you can see why I, I transfer it to microchips. Um, but I think for now that's about all I've got to show you. So, thank you for watching. Keep trekking and keep modelling, and we'll see you next time. Thank you and bye. <laughs>